Hi guys, it's Chrissy with Chrissy's Divine Design Tarot, and today we are doing a reading for Leo. Oh yeah. <laughs> All right. We have material and spiritual prosperity. Okay. Number six and the waiting game. Yeah, I kind of feel like you've been waiting for maybe even love with the number two here. That's usually partnerships and duality and... We have number six, and that is restoration, cooperation, and harmony. Oh my goodness, we have another two here, that spiritual union. Okay, so let's see, and that's balance as well. Wow, financial and material changes. So maybe with the number five here, I feel like, and the material and spiritual prosperity, I feel like five and then six, I feel like things are really going to change for you. This has to do with some type of passion you have with the red color here. You may have uh, fire in your energy, and we have earth, and then we have air here. Let's see here. Ooh, okay. Ooh, we have shadow and light. So that balance I was talking about. So the duality, the, let's see if you want to call it negative and the positive or the shadow side and the light side. <clears throat> and that is you've done the work on both sides. You are in touch with your light side and you're in touch with your shadow side and you're balanced. You've forgiven yourself for the things that you've done in the past that may not have been so good. And then you've also embraced um, maybe service for spirit or you are on the light side of things now, changing your ways. So we have number nine and 10. So that is like fruition, attainment, fulfillment, and then completion, the end of a cycle, um, uh, renewal. So let's see what's on the bottom third eye chakra. <laughs> Sweet! And a number six again. So we have two, two, six, six, and nine, ten, and a five. Huh. You can look up some of those numbers um, for your angel numbers. They may have some other uh, information for you there. And you look up the numbers and it will tell you what those numbers mean. So there might be a hidden message somewhere in there for you. Um, let's see here. Let's do the Kipper. Let's see what's going on here. Ooh, we have the Privileged Lady with number three here. And number 10, an ending for something here. And endings bring new beginnings. So... Hmm, let's see what else we have here. It feels like somebody is, um, <laughs> yeah, somebody might become a privileged lady. Maybe somebody passed away and now you're gonna get some unexpected income from somewhere here. Cause we have three, 10 and nine. Hmm, wow, okay. So let's see what else we have. Yeah, we have an official person that maybe is going to come in and tell you about this money that was left to you. Maybe it was an inheritance. Maybe it was a gift of some sort for somebody that wanted to gift you, but well, it sounds like it might've been a gift. <laughs> and we have a mature woman here. So this is all going to a mature woman. It looks like this, this privileged lady might not end up getting this. There's an ending here. So, and this unexpected income is coming to an official person and a mature woman. So this official person could be somebody that is um, like a lawyer or somebody that has credentials in that field. Oh, and then we have a wealthy man here. So a number four stability and structure so wow okay so somebody may have left a gift here i feel like this privileged lady may end up end up being this mature woman eventually or there's another lady here that thought she was going to get something and did not so yeah somebody walked away here all right well let's get some tarot and see what's going on here 
Oh, a new passionate beginning. So <laughs> maybe somebody ended something out with somebody. Mm, yeah, there may have been a competition somebody was in here. Maybe put somebody else in the competition here. That may be why this person's walking away. This is a choice in love. So this is a choice that was made by somebody here. Could be this wealthy man, could be this mature woman. What do we have? Yeah, somebody may not be quite single yet. But they may be working on that. So to come to you, I feel. Their third hour chakra is open or yours is. Yeah, they're making better judgment calls or this person's going through judgment from spirit. This could be karma. It sounds like it might be. <laughs> um, but we also have the Ace of Cups. So this has to do with a love union here. So let's see here. Yeah, somebody doesn't want to miss this opportunity with you. My goodness. They're, I feel like they, um, oh yeah. So, <laughs> yeah, that's kind of what I was feeling. Um, this privileged lady might be talking shit about you, okay? Um, this one that is getting left out in the cold, I feel, and maybe, yeah, just not, just taking it out on you and <laughs> and you're the innocent party here you don't even know this is coming your way <laughs> so let's see here what do we have what is that yeah they want to work together team player team cooperation maybe this other person was very resistant to this wealthy man and just didn't cooperate with him or want to be on the same team or wasn't interested in what he was doing or Maybe it was just there for the money. Yeah, they're coming out of heartbreak, though. They're recovering from that with the Three of Swords in reverse. So let's clarify a couple things here, and we'll get some other cards. I did get my new cards, by the way, so I will be doing a collective reading with the new cards, but I'll finish off all of the zodiacs with these cards um, and then we'll start new again with the new cards for other readings and then next time we'll do the zodiacs with the new cards so yeah somebody wants to come forward to you okay they got the chariot they have a new passionate beginning that they want to start with you I feel and maybe they found out that somebody had them in a competition here yeah knight of pentacles in reverse so that's somebody that is um, kind of bored in their or pessimistic when it comes to something here negative yeah oh, okay so there was secrets here that's why somebody was keeping something here about a competition maybe they were competing against somebody or there was someone else competing against them um, that they were even unaware of what's this lovers here what's the choice in love Okay, the Queen of Swords, this is revenge. Somebody wants to um, take revenge on either this wealthy man or this mature woman here. And let's see, what is this? Yeah, this, whoever is making this choice, I kind of feel like it is this wealthy man that's making this choice. And I feel like he's trying to heal, and this Queen of Swords is really making it hard for that to happen. By um, being revengeful and not cooperating, kind of making things hard for this person. Why are they still... Okay, so this is a King of Cups here in reverse, with the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. So this is somebody that's not available, and they're jealous of this union. This might be somebody that wanted to stop this union as well. I feel I like they're not able to have you but they don't want anyone else to have you. They're with somebody already. What's this judgment? Yeah, somebody's getting a different perspective about something. They're maybe going through karma having um, a judgment called on them by spirit. This might this is Pluto energy here and with the lovers that's Gemini energy. 
And with the chariot, that is cancer energy. And that's about loyal, loyalty. What's the Ace of Cups? Ah, this Queen of Cups, this sweetheart, loving, nurturing, um, go with the flow kind of woman, uh, or could be masculine. I take it how it resonates. The Queen of Cups is energy, so somebody might be in their feminine side, right? Their nurturing side. They're waiting for their ships to come in here with this love offer. So she knows something's coming. And I feel like it might be this mature woman. She knows something's going to happen. Yeah, she's going to receive that justice. So this justice is for secrets and somebody being um, putting them in a competition because they were bored. <sighs> wow. <laughs> yeah, trying to win at all costs here when it comes to this and wow okay let's keep going what's this somebody doesn't want to miss an uh, offer here or yeah somebody's not going to get that um victory here with the six of wands in reverse they're this offer that they don't want to miss uh they're not going to get a victory yeah they're not going to be very happy about this either what is the six of wands in reverse for yeah there's too many options they may have been confused about what option to go with as well um maybe too many to choose from maybe they're very charming and magnetic and uh charismatic charisma that they have you know that really attracts women or they just know how to play women um i because i feel like it's a man it may not be it might be this woman this privileged lady yeah somebody wasn't very passionate about this idea i feel <laughs> I feel like they're trying to delay. Yeah, it was this Queen of Pentacles in reverse trying to delay something here and talking shit. So with all these secrets and stuff. So it may be this. Yeah, it might be this wealthy man that um, put her in the competition or I kind of feel like it was the other way around to be perfectly honest. I, I do feel like it was the man that was put in competition here unknowingly. And she was talking shit about the two of them or this privileged lady was talking about this mature woman. What is this working, this three of pentacles here, this cooperation and teamwork? Yeah, somebody felt um, left out in the cold and they may even be going through karma, this uh, queen of pentacles is in reverse. So she could very well be in um, with unhealthy behaviors, could be um, that she's... She may be experiencing this five of pentacles um losing money this wealthy man might be losing money as part of his karma with this judgment call here somebody th thought they were making a good judgment call or they know they're changed their perspective about this mature woman uh with this queen of cups okay i feel like they changed their perspective because they made they're making a better judgment call with the judgment in the upright but this Queen of Cups is getting justice so this Queen of Pentacles could be a masculine in his feminine side right and is trying to delay this union maybe yeah I, I really feel like it's this Queen of Pentacles that's trying to delay everything male or female um i kind of feel like this queen of swords is the one plotting revenge here could be this um wealthy man has to um plot something to get out of something here yeah because it looks like she might be involved with this king of cups they may even be um have some type of relationship or this, this King of Cups is jealous. Take it however it resonates for you. Let's see. Yeah, Eight of Swords. Somebody's in their head. They're, 
it's like a self-imposed prison so this may be karma um in the form of anxiety not being able to um cope with something uh due to anxiety hmm What other ones did I use? Hmm. I'm trying to think of what I used the last time. All right, let's do some uh, angel romance angels. Okay, so somebody maybe um, didn't understand about spirituality versus religion. Maybe they had the wrong idea about you. If you are this mature woman. Says, give your relationship a chance work on your partnership so and I feel like somebody was doing that but with this five of wands here it's like the moon card secrets deceit competition being pessimistic I kind of feel like this privileged lady was trying to coax this wealthy man back in um, saying maybe saying that they're healing and actually they're plotting revenge here let's see what is this <laughs> deception I can't make this shit up <laughs> okay so there's definitely deception behind this choice in love Okay, this revenge um, to whoever's trying to heal here who's changed their mind about you. They've changed the way they're looking at you. They're trying to make better judgment calls. But I, I'm not so sure it's this person here, though. This King of Cups. I mean, it could be. Let's see. Finances and career are a factor in your love life right now. It could be this King of Cups. He could be the wealthy man. And I feel like he's losing money by being with this Queen of Pentacles. She may have said she had money when she really doesn't. She's losing money. Maybe she can't. Maybe she spends money in a bad way. She might be insecure, codependent. What's this hanged one here? The hangman. What's the hangman? For Leo. <laughs> I almost threw it off the table. Ah, uh, codependency. I can't make this shit up, man. I mean, <laughs> all right. Stay optimistic about your love life. Okay, so somebody is codependent. There's maybe some addictions here affecting this romance. So what's this Queen of Cups with the Justice card and the Three of Wands? What is she waiting about? This love offer, this Ace of Cups. Can you tell me what that's about, please? Thank you. Yeah, so this person wants to take this Queen of Cups away somewhere and disconnect from the world. They want to retreat with you. Uh, maybe take you somewhere to just be alone with you let's see here what's the seven of cups seven of cups there's options here and somebody doesn't want to miss this victory or miss this opportunity and with the six of wands in reverse i mean that's usually somebody that's not going to get that um victory they may have had an ego um hit here or some no reward out of what they we're in. I feel like they were unsatisfied even though that card is not here at the Nine of Cups in reverse. But I do feel like they're unsatisfied with their choice that they made, okay? So what's this? What is this then? What's the Seven of Wands? Or Seven of Cups, sorry. Seven of Cups, please, Spirit. Yeah, you deserve love. You are lovable. And they may not feel they're going to get a victory with you. This could be somebody from your past. This could be somebody new. But they may have a lot of options to choose from. And maybe they chose wrong in the past. And maybe they had a choice between you and another person. And I kind of feel like they chose wrong. And 
they may be re-looking at this and change their mind about you. Yeah, you deserve love. You are lovable. And this person is. I feel like they got duped by somebody here that was wearing a mask that that was trying to take their money with this deception here. What's this Queen of Pentacles here? Why is the Queen of Pentacles here? Uh, it may have just all been passion based. It may have all been just about sex. You know that song, uh, Sex Baby, talk about you and me. I don't know who sings that, but that's the song I'm hearing. What about this Five of Pentacles here? Hmm. This could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. So this could be somebody coming back around. <laughs> yeah, they might be going through karma right, karma right now. They might be working, trying to um, maybe get you to work with them. Maybe they're in poverty or they are feeling really left out in the cold by you. And if this is somebody that you know, this could be an ex that you were with from before. <laughs> Past life relationship. So it could be this lifetime. It could have been the lifetime prior to. So this could be a new person, but you know them from a past life. So whether it was this lifetime or another lifetime, this person is, I, I am almost feeling like, I want to say new. <laughs> At first I was feeling maybe it was from the past, but <clears throat> I, don't, I don't think I feel that. Uh, actually, I, I really do feel like this could be from another lifetime. You do know this person. When you meet this person, even if you haven't met them this lifetime, you're going to feel like you've known them all your life. Like, there's going to be a special bond between the two of you. Like, where have you been all my life, right? That kind of... <laughs> I kind of feel like he's going to come in and sweep you right off your feet. <laughs> nice. Um... Let's see what this person might want to say to you. Let's see. Time. You are trying too hard. Give it time. Okay. <laughs> Beware of what you're projecting for the qualities you admire in one another. <laughs> this is a twin flame. Okay, so whatever you admire in the other are qualities you both possess. Equally so, the qualities you don't like are also your own reflection, and that's indicative of a twin flame. So, ooh, yeah, he wants to see a lot. Hello. <laughs> Hang on a second here. <laughs> I'm only going to take the one I saw here. Emotions are a natural and necessary part of life, but they also can distort your perception and cloud your vision. In order to see, thing clear, see things clearly, you must let go of resentment. Okay, maybe this is somebody from your past. Or your past, don't let your past play in your present, okay? So whatever you had going on in the past, this might trigger you. So in that, you're going to have to, yeah, healing. <laughs> you're going to have to heal those past baggage, that those trigger warnings and triggers that maybe um get you projecting things to this person okay because what you see in them is what is also in you okay and that maybe you see <laughs> maybe they do something that you've done in the past and you realize wow that's that's not a good look <laughs> I don't, i'm not doing that again okay and maybe you talk about it and this healing imagine yourself and your beloved surrounded by light, feeling your relationship being healed at this very moment. So I kind of feel like you're both going to heal one another when it comes to past hurts. I feel like this person may have gone through a lot of what you have already gone through. So this is going to be such a healing place for you both because you're both going to be able to communicate 
really about your past experiences of of how you were triggered and they're going to feel the same way because they're going to feel like they've gone through exactly the same things you've gone through okay and they may be even healing their heart just like you are at this time so let's see when it comes to matters of the heart there's no right or wrong every choice you make expands your understanding of life and love and that's what we're here for is life lessons so he is healing you may be too okay and i feel like your third eye chakra is opening okay yeah rest and rejuvenate is underneath that so <laughs> all right well i think i'm gonna leave it on that note i mean damn <laughs> you got some great things coming in here this could be the one right so from the past or new whoever's coming in for you give it some time do your healing take the time you need to get over some of the things and hurts and go back and go over those things and really cry it out or whatever you need to do to kind of release that and let it go leave that baggage behind don't bring it in to the new relationship and even if you do um that i feel is going to be something you're both going to be um, aware of and understanding about and so you're gonna have great understanding from this other person because they've done or had someone do the same things to them so yeah I really like this past life relationship you've known each other before so there you go all right Leo I like your reading so please like share and subscribe give me that thumbs up if you like my readings become a member of the tribe the divine oracles if you like the vibe oh yeah <laughs> all right you guys take care and thank you all for the donations for those who have donated the paypal accounts in the description box below all right thank you take care love ya later